Hey y'all. Okay, so it is December 2nd and it is 6.03. Okay, so Chris is still at work. I'm supposed to be at work at 6.30. Um, he's like, he's not probably gonna get off till like eight something, something happened at work. So yeah, his mom's um, taking the baby to church today. So I text her like at 5.30. And I was like, you know, do you think you can come? I should have freaking calm my eyebrows. I was like, can you come? That's a little bit earlier, you think? You know, I think she's supposed to be here at 9. So hopefully she can come, like, closer to, like, 7.30-ish. Um, that way, or really, ideally, it'd be great if she can come at 7. That way I can get to work in time to do my AccuCheck. So it's kind of like I'm only going to be, like, an hour late from work. So we got to figure this out, what we going to do with him with the holiday season is super busy at his job so and then i already dropped my hours at my job so i'm like i don't want to be late and doing all this in the third and i already dropped my hours you know but everything will work out i feel like i need to contour my face i think it looks a little too washed out at least on camera it looks washed out yeah i didn't do no contour or highlight i gotta do that before i leave but i did have time to do my makeup and do some of my hair um so even though I don't know if it looked like I did anything to her. <laughs> Anyways, Maddie is still asleep. She woke me up. Well, she woke up at like one something. I don't know why. We was in the bed together and she fell asleep. And when I said this baby was so hot, like my whole sleeve, like I had a short sleeve shirt on. My whole like sleeve was just soaking wet. I was like, oh, my baby was so sweaty and hot. But she was still like snuggled up next to me, knocked out. And then... Put her in the bed and like 10 minutes later she was up again. So I had her in the bed with me again until like two something. But <sighs> where I told her when it's probably gonna be late. You know, it is what it is and we're gonna have to figure it out. But she can come early, great. Yeah, this trash stinks so bad. Chris gotta take this trash out. Her diaper genie, I brought it down here for him to throw away. He need to throw this out like yesterday. Yeah, and like I said, did I say anything? I don't even know. I'm so sorry. But at least this gives me time to edit a video. I might, I'm going to try to film a video for my nursing channel. And I can put that on. And I can edit a video so y'all can get vlogmas, early vlogmas on Sunday versus yesterday. The first vlogmas I posted Saturday like at 11 something. But hey, I posted it. One vlog a day. So yeah, I got to go, y'all. I got to get this together before the baby wakes up. I got to figure some things out. So as you all can see, well Maddie, she ate all the bananas by now. Shoot, she was eating some bananas. Um, Chris' mom, she was like, she can come over, um, like between 7:15 and 7:30. So like that works out big time. Let me get her something else to eat. I'm just giving her a piece of bread. Of course, I took the crust off. I just like to break it up for her. She already had a whole banana after this. Honey, she about to be so full. I know she is. She probably already full. I'm going to give her like a little spoonful of peanut butter so she can get some protein this morning. And I got to do something to my baby hair. Like, I had talked to Chris. <laughs> I ain't beat my baby. It's his name on water bottle. I'm sorry, baby. She like, uh, what is all this on me? I'm sorry, sweetie. Um, I talked to Chris last night before he went to work. I was like, is your mom still taking the baby to church? And he was like, I don't know. I said, well, text me in time, you know, so I could do her hair. Otherwise, shoot, I got other stuff I'm going to do. Like, I was editing that video for Vlogmas Day 1. And y'all yeah, saw it went up super. She's not trying to eat this bread. She probably full already. Um, it went up kind of late. It did go up late. It went up right, right before midnight. So I was working on that all night when I got off of work and I put her to bed and I fed her. So I was like, I don't want to have to do her hair if I don't have to. And he couldn't respond to me in time. So I was like, I just ain't gonna do her hair. But then by the time he responded to me, she was asleep. Eat your food, please. So I was like, well, I don't know what we gonna do in the morning. So I guess now we do know I'm doing it. All right, yeah, Chris mom says she gonna be here soon. So I'm gonna do this. She already fed, I'm gonna let her run around. And I just hope that 
she not too like what is going on you know when I leave because her dad's not gonna be here and she's probably gonna be like confused like okay where my, where my mama and my daddy not here like uh, I want my mommy and my daddy but hopefully she'll be chill because I want her to be more comfortable with other people um so yeah that's that shot I'm about to put these ponytails in this baby hair and call it a day go to work get some things done I got my uniform on this is my uh, I'm pregnant y'all should be happy I showed up uniform <laughs> I mean I got on scrubs and we're supposed to wear all white so it's all white it's fine what you think Maddie she like gonna put on a scrub top right now mommy all right y'all vlogmas <laughs> All right, y'all. I know I look, you know, it is what it is. <laughs> I look, it is what it is. Today, Madison has a therapy appointment at 1. It is 9.47. I am right now. I don't know if you can see, but yeah, I can't see that. I am working on uploading um, vlog. It was day number two. Today is December 3rd, Monday. Um, somebody's birthday is today. My uncle's birthday is today. And my cousin. Okay, I gotta call them. Um, we'll contact them. Um, anyways, I'm uploading vlog on day number two late, but I will be putting up two vlogs today. And um, yeah, so I have like, my goal is to make a certain amount of money by the end of December, just from me um, doing YouTube and also selling some items. And yeah, I have a goal in mind. I'm gonna reach that goal and <clears throat> I really want to start like working out I did one day of workout <laughs> um, but I need to get in the shower and wash my hair my hair is really like it's really not too bad actually I just need to wash it um, but I want to start doing like this like gel thing where you'd use the gel to help define your curls I did it for Thanksgiving I'm gonna insert like a little snippet yeah I like my little Jerry curl I really was working on defining these curls today, but yeah. And I like the way it looked on Thanksgiving, but um, it just takes a long time for it to dry and everything. I want to do a video about it, but with her doing her therapy appointment today, it's about to be 10. We'll leave for therapy like at 12 30, 10, 11. 12. I might it might dry in time that's like how long it takes to dry like it might dry um and then I have to still take a shower film the video get her ready and do it and it takes like 30 minutes for me to actually define the curls that way I might do the video I'm not 100% sure um yeah that's that y'all baby girl just took a nap and I just wanted to get on her and talk to y'all real quick but I'm like, oh, I should do a little quick little workout, then jump in the shower that way. It's done for the day. Um, that's what I should do. Okay, I got to get out of my head. I got to start moving because if I stay sitting here in my head, I'm going to get sad. Isn't that crazy? Like, do y'all get like that? Or is it just me? Like, if I'm not doing something, I get really sad. I just can't sit in like, girl, my lip. <sighs> Anyways, I can't just sit and be... just chilling like I'm very uh, I just can't sit like that like I'll feel like like I'm not doing nothing with my life like I just gotta get up and do something otherwise I'm gonna start thinking about stuff and feeling a certain way and like start getting I don't know if it's anxiety I don't think it's depression because I actually can do stuff you know with depression you really kind of immobilizes you um I just I just don't like idle time it makes it just made me feel like a failure. <laughs> oh no, I ain't about to get deep with y'all on these vlogmas. Anyways, um, I'm gonna get something done. All right. Dun, 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 dun. We have to go to therapy. I'm having her eat something before we go. It's just some apples. Um, I gotta do her hair. And y'all, I am in pain. I am in pain. My freaking groin. Yes, my groin. I know nobody care about my groin. It's hurting so bad. It's so sore. Like, I don't know what I did. I need to stretch on I mean, I did work 212s this weekend. Um, but 
I didn't really do, I don't know. I just need to stretch more, so. But let her eat that. I gotta straighten up a little bit before we leave so I can come home to a pretty decent house. But we got literally like 25 minutes before we gotta get in the car, so. And I gotta do her hair, get her cleaned up, get her dressed. I gotta do something to my hair. Yeah, let me get off this vlog. I ain't got time to talk. Hey everybody, so look what I'm doing. I have burlap, different colors. You know what I'm doing? I'm working on those earrings that you all have been asking about. So um, as you can see, the burlap is folded and so it kind of makes like that crease in it. I'm gonna iron them out so that I can start making um, earrings with the remaining burlap that I have. And y'all, been talking about this for over a year on here but in general I've been selling these forever I just haven't sold them like I haven't <laughs> I haven't like been like hey they're for sale like I don't know but that's the past um so I am about to iron this burlap and then I'm going to clear off this desk because I got like a lot of paperwork on it so I'm gonna clear off the paperwork and um get it ready for tomorrow so that I can start um actually cutting out everything and getting everything ready i will start having this stuff for sale let me repeat this i will have these earrings they will be up for sale by the end of this week so the first week of blog vlogmas by the end of the first week of vlogmas these earrings will be for sale hopefully by the time this video come up they'll be for sale um i don't know as far as my footage where this video is gonna fall what day whatever but I'm getting everything in order and I'm doing it chunk by chunk so I won't be overwhelmed. And yeah, so I'm gonna iron this right now. Got the iron going, iron this all out, clear off my desk and then kind of get it set up for tomorrow. And then tomorrow I'll start cutting. Like I don't wanna be too overwhelmed trying to do everything at once. I'm realizing, you know, with a child and with working and with maintaining YouTube channels and with being the primary person here at home since Chris is working like really crazy hours. He's very, very busy at his job this year um, during the holiday season. So with him working like all the time, basically, um, it's just me and Madison here. And then I work and then I do YouTube, um, maintaining the house and everything, which I'm not complaining because I'm just so blessed. Yeah, I just so blessed to be in this position it's just so crazy because this is exactly what I wanted I wanted to be in a position where I could reduce my hours at work I could be home with the baby more I could be home with my home more and get my home how I wanted to be um and I could support my husband as far as you know being at home getting stuff done that he needs done which he don't need nothing done he just he don't need nothing done <laughs> if anything I'd be talking to him like can you take the trash out um but just being, just doing it. Being a mom, being an entrepreneur, being a YouTuber, like that's exactly what I wanted to do. And still work as a nurse, like that's what I wanted. Only thing that's right now that's missing is going back to school. So this is what I wanted. So I don't know why I'm feeling like, earlier I was saying like I was feeling like anxiety. I don't even know if I would use the word anxiety, but I literally just got done talking to myself. And I was like, Brandy, like, you know, this is how I feel. And then I just, I just talk to myself. I mean, just being honest with y'all, I just like literally just said out loud my feelings and my thoughts and kind of got it out of my head and just said it. Cause I didn't want to talk to anybody about it. I'm talking to y'all about it, but I don't really want to talk to somebody like, oh, I feel this way, what should I do? No, I just wanted to get it out so I can make sense of it. If that makes any sense. Like sometimes when it's in your head, you can't really process certain things when you just keep it in your head like you have to you gotta let it out i don't really know if my point is coming across to y'all but if you feel in a certain way you might want to speak on it just speak it just say it or write it that's what i say writing is cathartic it's very therapeutic singing dancing all of that um you just have to express it in some type of way instead of just keeping it in your mind because your mind can really it can really play tricks on you. It can make you think some stuff that's not really, that that's not real. So if you just say it and you like, you listen to yourself and you listen to what you're saying or you read it or you write it, 
you start to realize like, oh wait, I'm saying I feel overwhelmed, I feel anxiety, I don't know what to expect, I got a lot going on, but wait, this is what I wanted. I love being busy, I love getting things done, I love multitasking, I love feeling productive, and I'm doing everything that I wanted to do, like, so yeah, it's okay that I feel overwhelmed and I feel a little anxiety about it, but this is what I want. You know, I'm blessed to have my husband, you know, blessed to have his support, blessed to have my child, blessed to have a healthy pregnancy, like, everything is okay. So, like, why are you, you know, you got, you're getting what you want. So, just, it's okay. Like, it's not going to be easy. It's not, you know, you have to make some adjustments to things. So, just, just go with it. Just feel it. Just go with it and be grateful. So, yeah, that's where I'm at. That's what, see, even just me just saying that out loud again to myself. Well, to y'all, hopefully, if y'all listening. <laughs> um, it just put me in a better headspace, like, for real. So, yeah, that's that. I hope my point got across to somebody. And um, mental health is so important, you all. Like, if your mind is not where you need it to be, you know, work on it by yourself or reach out for help you know because your mind can really take you a lot of places whether good or bad and sometimes the way you're feeling is not necessarily I can't really say like your feelings aren't real but sometimes you have to kind of put it out there to be like for you to really see it for what it is sometimes you're just feeling it it's not real I don't know if that make any sense but Sometimes you just feel like, oh, I feel so sad. I feel so down or I feel like things ain't going the way I want it. But then if you actually try to make it, I'm not saying like make your feelings more, like don't, I'm not saying for a person to intellectualize their feelings. Like I'm not saying to do that, but just look at it from a different perspective. Um, and you might see like okay this is not really the case i don't know yeah it's it's, it's it go deep sometimes but sometimes it's not as deep as you think it is like you know sometimes the feeling is just because you looking at the situation differently or you looking at the situation wrong or you need to see it from a different perspective or you need to kind of step away from it for a second and come back to it um or you need to look at it from you know just a different mindset and you'll be like oh it's not really bad it's actually perfect this is an opportunity this is not a failure you know people say like failures it's not failures it's opportunity you know it's just a challenge it's just a way for you to rise above it a way for you to grow your confidence and to have a testimony later in life like you just got to change your perspective about a lot of stuff especially as you get older and with this day and age just so much comparison to other people here on the internet and on youtube instagram and stuff like you just gotta just really change your freaking perspective like girl <laughs> i don't know but let me know what y'all if, if y'all feeling this i don't want to get too deep on this vlog but i told y'all i didn't want to get deep dang it let me get my pizza out the oven i ain't had a frozen pizza in so long i'm looking forward to this frozen pizza um and I need to iron this and get this together. Like I said, these earrings will be on sale by the end of this week. Okay, mark my words.